I may never even post this, although I say that in a lot of videos that I end up posting. Conservative white male. Christian male. That sets off a lot of bells and whistles in a lot of people's minds. Right? The clacks and the horns are just... Right? You're like, red alert. This dude's dangerous. No, I'm not. I don't understand the war of perception that's going on right now. I mean, I, I get it. I should say I understand the motivations behind the machinations, right? I get why this war is being waged. I just don't understand why more people don't buy into that crap. And there's a lot of there's a lot of direction I can go with this, right? I can c cite statistics. I can tell you, um, you know, I can I can tell you about differences and similarities between socioeconomic statuses and you know different uh, races and creeds and nations of people. And geographically speaking, I, I can get into all of that. Or I can just tell you that I've been working full time, more or less, since I was 15 years old. I grew up poor. I started my first business at 17 with a $500 Ford Ranger and a $200 chainsaw to cut timber to sell firewood, to sell logs, and to have enough wood to heat our home during the winter. We grew our food, and what didn't come out of the ground came off the land, and I hunted, sustenance hunted, for a lot of it. I don't hunt today, because thank y'all, I don't have to. I may again at some point, but there's still a stigma in my mind, in my heart, hunting-wise, because I've eaten so much venison out of necessity that even today I'm like, it's delicious, I love it, but I'm not going out in the woods to look for it. <sighs> there was one, I remember specifically as a kid, there was one month where one of our neighbors had butchered a cow and they gave us like mm, 30 pounds maybe of ground beef. And I remember the local grocery store had macaroni and cheese on sale for um, 25 cents a box. And for a month straight, we had hamburger patties fried in a cast iron skillet and uh, macaroni and cheese. And for a decade, I didn't eat hamburgers and I didn't eat macaroni and cheese because it was a reminder of just how poor we were. And I hated that. I hated that. I was born and raised in the church. And I, come to, I came to hate the church. I was an apostate. I was at war with God for a while. Because I could not separate the difference between God and and people you know god makes uh zero mistakes people make lots of mistakes and i saw people just engaged in fakery to the highest degree on sunday mornings um my best friend growing up his dad was instrumental in the church and he was uh, romantically involved with another woman in the church who was not his wife. I'll just put it that way. And it led to a divorce. And his parents fought over who got his younger sister. And neither one of them wanted him. So he came to live with us. And that disgusted me. And I equated that with Christianity. 
I remember thinking, if that's what it means to be a Christian, I don't ever want to be a Christian. I'm out. I'm not doing that. And at 15, I ran as far in the opposite direction from the church as I could. And it wasn't until about 28 that I made my way back. Thank you, Father God. And that's another story for another time. I don't see myself as privileged. I'm conservative, fiscally, socially. I'm a lot more libertarian, politically speaking. I don't care what you do. Just don't tell me what I can and can't do. I don't need your permission. And I'm not looking to give you my permission on what it is you want to do with your life. Now, morally, ethically... I have opinions on a lot of things. Politically, leave me the hell alone and I will leave you the hell alone. The end. But fiscally, I'm conservative. I don't think you can spend money that doesn't exist and I don't think you should borrow money to spend fake money on things you don't need to spend money on. Now that makes me... depending on who you ask, a domestic terrorist, because I'm a white, conservative, Christian male. Now, while we're at it, I'm about half German. My mom was adopted with my aunt. They're blood relatives. My grandparents adopted a pair, my mom and my aunt, my mom being the oldest, from a pair of German immigrants. And then on the opposite side, my dad's side, I have a little bit of English, a little bit of French, a little bit of Scottish. Um, I'm a quarter American Indian. I have, you know, there's all these different things, right? Mostly European descent, about three quarters European descent, and about one quarter Native American. I'm not on the rolls. I don't get anything for free. I don't want anything for free. But to say I'm just a white male is not accurate. I'm a male. I'm totally a dude. I'm, and I'm a man. I think there's a difference between a man and a male. There's certainly a difference between a dude and a man. I handle my responsibilities. I take care of the people that I love. I'm not late. I perform the things that are asked of me generally without complaint. When I do complain, it's my mouth moving that's complaining, but my actions, I'm completing the tasks that I'm assigned. That's called griping, and everybody gripes sometimes. But I make this video to make the point that I'm not a demon, and I don't even if I disagree with you on some core things that make you you and you disagree with me on some core things that make me me, we can find common ground here. But I'm not advantaged that I know of. Um, I have lots of tattoos. Now, getting back to the Christian thing, I have had people in line at the grocery store spit on me look right at me and spit on me because of my tattoos and then tell me I'm going to burn in hell. That's cool. You are a great ambassador for your loving God when you do that. Thank you. That helped me quite a bit. Stand by. So... I only know what it's like to be me. I don't know what it's like to be you. I've never been a female. I've never been any race other than what I am. I didn't choose my skin color. I didn't choose my gender. Um, I did choose to be a follower of the Messiah, Jesus, Yeshua. Um, and I do, to a certain extent, believe that I've chosen my... Uh, political views although I do not I have no love for the two party system I'm not a big fan of Republicans definitely not a fan of 
uh, Democrats, right? So I don't know. I've there's things in my life that I've chosen. There's things in my life that have been chosen for me, and I guess all I would ask is don't begrudge me that, and I will never begrudge you your skin color, your ethnicity, your nation, your socioeconomic status, your life experiences. Like, there's so much common ground between us, right? We can focus on the things that make us different. We can focus on the things that make us the same. We all need the same basic things to survive and to thrive. I just think it's stupid that a lot of us are being led down this path of identity politics. So this is what a conservative Christian male looks like. And this is my message to you. And everybody else that wonders what's going on inside my head, what's going on inside of my head is I would love to sit down and talk with you. And we're not going to agree on everything. We may not agree on very much at all. That's okay. As long as you can respect me, I will respect you.